Hey everyone, it is Aisha, aka Naturally Ae, back again with another video. And today we're actually doing another episode of Roots and Democracy. Uh, today I'm going to be, we're actually going to be switching it up just a little bit. I'm going to be doing a review of a brand that was introduced to me by Bay called Code Academy. And basically, if you want to learn how to build websites from scratch without any coding experience, stick around. So it took him about two years to get me into coding he always thought that it would be something that i would be into but i was just like ah eh, that's not for me coding's not my thing and eventually i was like you know what let me give it a shot and we'll get into how i feel about coding later on but the reason that i think that this is a roots and democracy episode uh a uh, topic rather is because i definitely see that in the future you know there's so much money to be made through technology and there's so many tech advances coming out pretty much every day it feels like and there's no reason that people of color that minorities women especially should not be you know have the, you know have their toes in, in into this pool of money there's really no reason so that was really my reason for initially getting into it basically code academy is a good way to see if coding is a good fit for you and then not to mention if you end up hating it you actually just gain a greater appreciation for people that do code when you start to use your apps you realize hey someone took a lot of time to be able to go from a desktop size to a you know the size of a of a smartphone it took a lot of time and a lot of effort to write that code it's not easy but code academy definitely helps you through it but without any further ado oh I'm sorry, before we go any further, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, make sure that you like, comment, and share this video, and if you haven't already, make sure that you check out my blog, naturallyie.com. So right now I'm going to take you to my computer and I'll show you the website. Hey everyone, okay, so here we are with codecademy.com. This is their homepage, this is what you'll see. Um, and just to show you that they are a re reputable site, when you scroll down, you do see that they have people that um, use this website to build some of the largest names or largest companies in the world currently um, and there's a lot of you know testimonies of you know how great it is but we're going to skip past skip past all of that right now we're going to log right in okay so this is your homepage. um first thing that you see you know is your name you can see that i'm a free member um the badges that i've collected and the courses that i am com in the process of completing so right now it says that i am the 66% done with this Learn CSS uh, course. That's not really true because the only reason why it's it says that it's completed is because I completed an intensive course. So if you want to see those, you would go up right up here to your My Courses, and the intensives are the ones that you're gonna pay to do, versus the regular course are the free ones. But either way, it's, the information's the same. So the reason that these are you know, this one's complete and these ones are almost complete is because I completed the intensive. So I scroll down a little bit more information and let's let's go into catalogs because I want you guys to see exactly what is offered with Code Academy. So first and foremost, they offer a multitude of languages. You've got your HTML and CSS, that's what I focused on, Python, JavaScript, um, SQL, Bash, Shell, and Ruby and oh Java, excuse me. And those are all the different languages that you can learn with the, with Code Academy. See the intensive ones. This is the one that I started out with. Build websites from scratch. And you can see that it it, it it is a ten week course. It did cost me two hundred dollars, um, and I believe they are all two hundred dollars, if I am not mistaken. Um, let's just open up one of them. And this is what you see. Uh, what I like is the upfront upfrontitude of of Code Academy. They tell you exactly how much it costs. Uh, it's going to be two hundred dollars, as I said, and they tell you that the that the enrollment closing date is July twenty third. So that actually happens to be today, but uh, they do open up new cohorts. I believe it's every two weeks. So if you were to log back in tomorrow, it would say you know August fifth or you know whatever two weeks from from today is and that would be the next time so it's nice that they always have new cohorts and it's nice because you have two weeks to you know you know one to get your money in order and two weeks to get you know your your life kind of order so that you can put a, put aside time to focus on these courses okay so as i said you know there's tons of courses 
that you can take, you can build uh, apps uh, with some of these courses. I mean, there's like literally like tons of stuff. Okay, so let's get, I'll show you what the lessons kind of look like with build websites from scratch. So this is what your, your intensive will look like. And this is kind of like what your syllabus is. So you have all your units over here and each of your units has a ton of content packed in. So if you open up the first one, we've got our introduction, you've got kind of like this day one, day two, day three thing. This kind of tells you what you'll be doing for that day. Then you've got your lesson for that day and it tells you about how long it should take you. Can I tell you that whenever it said like an hour and 10, it almost always took me close to two hours. But again, I am brand new to coding, so everything was brand, brand, brand new to me. And then you also got these quizzes that supplement the, the lesson plans. And then after you've done these, le these quizzes, sometimes there's these articles that are thrown in there. And those are also, you know, really good reads. They've got tons of, you know, videos and links and tons of stuff that can help you on, you know, to learn how to code. And finally, you have all of these projects that are due. Now, I'm going to say that I think it's something like 14 websites you end up building with this course. 14. But before we get into that, let me just show you what a lesson looks like. This is the Code Academy. Um, basically, like this is how you learn. This is the screen. Um, oh, this is actually the last page of the lesson. Let's go to the first page of, of the lesson. So down here, you can see exactly all the topics that will be hit with this lesson. So that's kind of nice. Um, my boyfriend, you know, he laughed at me for you know actually taking written notes on the things that I was learning, but let me tell you and let me tell him yet again, it is a good idea because even though it's easy now, lessons like one, two, and three are pretty easy. Lesson four is no joke. When you get to Flexbox and learning how to build responsive websites, it's literally no joke. Like you, you really do have to get a pen and paper and write things down. Anyways, so this is your, you know, your lesson plan or your lesson screen, and it'll give you all the information that you need on this side. It'll give you instructions on what to do. This is your dev environment right here in the center, and this is what the website will look like when you are done writing the code here. It'll pop up here for you. So as you read through, you know, I took notes, you know, feel free to do so or to not to do so, that, that's up to you. And then at the bottom, it's gonna give you some instructions on something that it's gonna want you to do, and then you'll have to you know, put the code in here, run it, and it'll render right here. Um, it's really, it's really simple, I think, or it's, it's, it's a nice layout to learn because you're, you are focusing on the information here, you're watching it happen here, and then this is where, you know, you see your results. If your code is broken, you're instantly going to see it because when you hit that, that run button, it's going to tell you, oh, you did, you know, you, you did it right, or if you did it wrong, I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff now, but if it were wrong, it'd be, you know, a red X, and it would make you, you know, kind of do it again. And, and the program, you know, ha will, it will give you hints, and you can eventually just figure out, you know, it'll tell you the answer. But I definitely suggest not doing that. I definitely suggest really trying, because they do make it a little bit easier in the lessons than they do in the projects. Speaking of projects, let's just exit out of that. I'm going to bring you to unit four because as I said, these are the hardest website, uh, hardest units and huh, the box model flex box. These are, these, these are tough lessons, but it's really, really necessary information at this point in time. Ah, here we go. Okay. Project T cozy. So this is obviously, you know, your introduction to the project it gives you two days to finish this project um code academy they they give you a certain amount of time to do all of the work but it is all up on you essentially um it's it's up to you you know how fast or how slow you can get through the material so there was definitely times where a project you know it said you know it should only take you a day and it took me two days or you know this project appeared my times it said you know it's like four days it really took me more like a whole week you know, that's, that's just the nature of learning. That's just the nature of learning. Anyways, 
So this particular project I wanted to show you because this is one that you would submit. Of the 14 websites that you have, I think only three or four of them actually get reviewed. And this is the first one. So this is one that you would work on. You would submit it. They give you a date, you know, to, to stay ahead. Make sure that you are, you know, or, you know, it says right here to stay on track. Submit it by this day. Um, and you can see here that I submitted it late because life. And then it'll be re reviewed. And it'll tell you who reviewed it. So let me just show you what the project looks like. Again, they're going to give you the Code Academy layout, uh, and they're going to basically tell you that this is a project for you know a fictional tea shop website, and they need help with their designs. And they will give you all the images that you need, and they'll give you a design sheet, a, do a design spec that you can you know just download basically right here. And here's all your information. I'll tell you your, your fonts, um, the size of the text, the color, all of that, the spacing, your pixels. It'll give you all of that information here. I think I actually have this open twice. Yes, I do. And then it'll basically say, even though it looks like have fun, you know, experiment, blah, blah, blah. It's basically saying you're on your own, bitch. Get it together. Good luck. So what ends up happening is they help you set up your dev environment on your computer in Code Academy. And basically the things that you'll need first is going to be Atom. And Atom is an app for your computer and you'll download that. And this is your dev environment. This in your terminal, um, which, I, which I'll show you in a second, this is how you write the code for everything. So this is the code that I wrote myself for that website. That this is my HTML. And this is my CSS. So this is all of my designs, my imaging, um, not my, my images, I'm sorry. This is my designs, my colors, my fonts, uh, positioning, all the stuff here. That's what all, that's what CSS is. Fabulous. Okay. And then along with your, with Adam, you'll also learn how to use your terminal. I have nothing going on right now, but this is it right here. Um, and using your terminal is how you will upload your code to the internet so that somebody else can view it. And you'll do that through GitHub. And that's an, another thing that you'll have to uh, create an account for. It's, it's free and you'll get a profile. Um, obviously, I didn't do much with it, but this is where you will, this is how you save every step of your code once you find a way to make the code work you don't excuse me once you find a way to make the code work you don't want to mess with it not at all so you want to save it as frequently as you can and this is how you would do it as a repository code academy will definitely go through all this with you but i'm just going to show you guys my tea cozy repo here it is and so this will be all of the all of your commits, so I, I committed four times, so that means I saved four times and all four versions are saved in here, but the most recent one will be right here. And this is the exact same code that is written on um, my Atom. And the CSS is in a different folder, however. But I, what I wanted to show you was if you were to open up my Finder and open up this file, I'm not going to find it right now, but this is my website and so that you guys know that I'm not messing with you, you can tell that it's mine because it here here is the file name file, users, Aisha Lynn, that's me, and then it's in my documents. Somewhere in my documents, it's hiding. Um, <laughs> just because this is from my old computer, so I haven't really saved things properly, but this is my website and this is what it was supposed to look like. Obviously, had some issues here. Um... But that's the gist of it. And the last thing that I want to discuss really is just Slack. And there are definitely moments where you're, when you're going to have issues and you're going to be really, really frustrated with your code. And the best, well, I, yeah, I, I would say probably, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Before we get on to the best part is your issues, your issues. Um, once you've submitted 
your project, you are gonna, it'll be reviewed after a few days and, it, and it'll show up here. And this is basically where you can see what issue someone, you know, who knows more about coding found with your, with your problems, uh, with, your, with, with, with your website. So for example, he thought that I should have added mobile resizing. Not for nothing, but at this point in the lesson, we hadn't learned mobile resizing, but whatever. But they'll give you, you know, in information and links on how you can uh, improve your, your, your site. So that's really nice. Um, but the other thing, uh, if you were having, you know, day-to-day -day issues and you wanted to speak, to speak with somebody right then and there, Slack is where it's at. Um, I can't log into a workspace right now because Slack is only open for your cohort during your co your cohort. So people are sending messages and sending links and things. It's best to save them right then and there because it's not going to be available to you once the course is over. Um, and I I knew about that, but Slack is really nice because it's basically instant messenger, but for people that are that are in the same cohort as you and they're learning all the same things, they're going through exactly the same struggles, same projects that you're going through. So that is pretty much it for Code Academy. Keep listening for what I did not like about Code Academy. Okay, so what didn't I like about Code Academy? Number one, which is probably my biggest issue with Code Academy, is that they tell you that in the beginning, if you're brand new, you might need like 10 to 15 hours to do the coursework every week that's due. And I'm like, okay, no problem get into it and it's really taking me more like 20 to 25 30 hours it's literally like a part-time job and if you're brand new to coding know that it's gonna take you a long time because there's so much information and that's number two as to my big issue with Code Academy is they don't tell you how much information is really out there in regards to building websites and CSS and coding and Flexbox and all of these things it's almost overwhelming And number three um, is not really a fault of Code Academy because as you could see the way that they laid it out for you is very clear and cut concise but it's it doesn't it didn't always seem like it was beginner friendly information it definitely seemed like at some points you needed some type of background knowledge to understand what you were trying to do and although they did give you some of the background information I feel like it didn't it wasn't as informative as I thought that it could be, and I. But I mean, they do leave you links to external uh, resources, which I mean, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing doing extra, you know, research and education, and you know, finding things out. But there, there's just a lot more to coding than I was prepared for. So maybe that's my own fault. Overall opinions of Code Academy, I would definitely, definitely continue to take the free courses. But coding is not for me. I am a pre. I am so glad that I took this course because now that I have a blog and that I'm using WordPress, so many things are so much easier for me. And, and if I wanted to change small things in regards to, um, you know, layout, I can do that. I can edit the CSS. I can edit HTML. But do I want to build websites from scratch all the way? Like build it straight up? No. Nope. That's not for me. Um, but if that's you, definitely $200 is not a bad price for a course such as this. Have you tried any other uh, coding courses online? If you have, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it or if you've, if you've been through a course through Code Academy, if you've tried any of their other programs, JavaScript, or if you've tried Python, anything like that, let me know. Tell me how you did. I want to know. Alright guys, until next time, stay blessed and unstressed.